Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought this morning I'd do something different. It's a work day for me and I've just had a shower and I thought I'd show you how quick I get ready in the morning. So I get up 45 minutes before I have to leave. I hop into the shower. I have to wash my hair every other day because it does get greasy. And I thought, oh, right, let me show you. Somebody asked the other day about what blusher and lipstick I was wearing. So I thought I'd do a very quick, show you how quickly I get ready in the morning on a work day. So I, as I said, I've had my shower. I've had to wash my hair today. And I'm just putting on this Fit Me by Maybelline it's a matte poreless because I do have quite large pores so I put this as a base and my foundation and I've had this for some time it lasts quite a while actually oh I can squeeze it too much out there let's put a bit more on there that's better let's put the lid on yeah so I, I put that underneath I have cleansed and toned already before I started filming. So I put my base on. I'm no makeup expert at all. I'll just shove it on basically. <laughs> that all seems to look okay. Okay. So I should have sorted the items out, shouldn't I? So let's have a look. Where's my foundation? There's my foundation. Oh, we had some heavy rain in the night. I was in a park home now and uh, you can hear the rain. It's quite nice actually. It's quite soothing if you're in bed. Haven't really heard it so much in the lounge. I suppose you've got TV on and what have you. But we woke up in the early hours this morning and it sounded really torrential. So I'm just putting on some concealer highlighter. It's Lasting Perfection Hydration Serum. And this is, what company is this one? can't see the name of the company on it. Oh, I can't see. I don't know if you can see. Um, if not, I will link it in the description box for you below. It was only a cheap one. None of my makeup is expensive. And I just normally dab some under the eye area. Because I do get quite dark under the eyes. And then I just pat that in with my finger. Just brightens my eye area up. I just dab that in. I do, as I say, get quite dark under there. It does tend to make them look a little bit brighter. And now for the foundation. The foundation is True Match. So True Match foundation. This is by L'Oreal. And I have the colour 5.5W. So I just use a sponge. I just go straight in, squirt it on the sponge, and then just distribute it around the face. I used to use a brush. I might go back to using a brush, actually. Because I think sometimes with a sponge, I do wonder whether I'm wiping it off as I'm wiping it on. I probably wouldn't use so much with a brush. What do you think? Do you use a brush or do you use a sponge? But it's a nice moisturising foundation. And I find, because I've got these large pores... Because sometimes I'd like to go shade lighter, but if I go shade lighter, it does tend sometimes to sit quite cakey in my pores. Look a bit, if the foundation's too light for me, it sits in my pores and looks quite, well, highlights them even more. But this one seems to be a perfect colour for me, That's especially in the summer. Yes, it goes on nice and smooth. 
hope you can see it's awkward I've never found it easy to get the camera in the right place to show you so you can actually see the mirror so I'm hoping this comes out okay let's just blend that in Look here, yeah. Okay, so that's the foundation on. Then I always put some of the Sheer Loose powder on. This is just a um, collection, uh, collection 2001, a matte, and this is transparent. So I find if I don't put this on the top, after about two hours, you can't see my foundation, it's gone. It gets absorbed into my skin. So I just pat this on again with my sponge. Just seems to set the foundation for me. You can get those setting sprays, can't you? I've often wondered about trying one of those. Charlotte Tilbury's supposed to do a good one, aren't they? Sometimes, <laughs> if I've gone somewhere special and it's got to last all day, I have very lightly sprayed myself with um hairspray which is probably not the done thing is it probably not very good for your skin but it works but yeah i think i need to get a setting spray i think that might help but the loose powder does seem to make it stick okay now for a little bit of blusher Where's the blusher gone? Okay. So for the blusher, this is a number 17. So number 17 blusher. And this is Color Glow Cream Blush. Sorry, I can't read the colour, but I will put it in the description box for you down below. So trouble as you get older, isn't it? It's harder to read things. And you don't need much of this. I may have put a bit too much on. But I put it on with my finger first. As I say, no expert at all, so probably doing everything completely wrong. But then I have a big brush that I just brush it in with and I take it up the side there. But I like the cream blush and it seems to work quite well on top of the powder. Because I said the powder is very fine, very light. Yeah, I hope you can see okay. Okay, so that's that bit done. I'm just going to wet my finger. Clean fingers. Okay. Sometimes I wear eyeshadow to work, sometimes I don't. So let's go in with the eyeshadow. Probably should have done the eyebrows first, but hey ho, that's where's my eyeshadow brush. I need to go through this makeup bag. Um, this is a Revolution palette, and I've had this one for ages, as you can see. But I just love the shimmery colours in here. What we should I go for today? Let's go for this light shimmery one. So I just put this all over the eye. The 
okay and then for the slightly darker color let's go for this greeny color okay let's just put this so the green is called what's it called modern and the light color was called lust in case you're interested So I'll just put that on. So I've got no tips for you ladies, sorry, because as I said, I've just put it on myself. I'm not an expert. Okay. So I don't bother with any line liner. Um, I might do if I was going out. I might go and put some eyeliner on. But for work, I don't normally bother. Okay, so where's my eyebrow pencil? So the eyebrow pencil I use is this one here. And this is a micro fine brow pencil. Let's see the makeup shade. Because I always get my Becky to pick this up for me because she uses it. So it is sleek. Uh, where's it? I must say the make on here. No, sorry, can't see it, but. I will put it in the description box anyway, as I said. I keep it in the box just to protect it, stop the pencil from breaking. So you, you've got a little brush thing one end and then you've got a little wind up nib the other end. And basically I just very lightly draw them in. I haven't got the best eyebrows, but at least I have still got some. It just tends to make them look a bit better. Not lucky one. There we go. I need to get these wax. Actually, I normally wax them myself on my lip. Uh, it's another video I could show you. I will do that, perhaps at the weekend. Here I wax my lip and my eyebrows. Then I go in with the mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And I've been getting it from Amazon lately. They do it in boots, but I find it's cheaper on Amazon. And yeah, a lot of people, you know, recommend this. It's and I'm really happy with it. It's nothing worse than putting on the mascara, and then you get to work, and it ends up all underneath the eyes. That this one doesn't seem to do that, unless you sneeze when it's wet when you're first putting it on, which I very often seem to do. I don't know what it is. Again, as you get older, well, in my case anyway, the eyelashes tend to get thinner, especially on my outside corners. So I do try and get as much on those as possible. Otherwise, you just can't see them. Why do we pull that face <laughs> when we put mascara on? Okay, so that's the mascara I done. Oh, sorry, they're going to turn my alarm off. Okay, so that's just the lips to go. So what should I put on my lips today? Okay, what I've been doing lately is I've got this hydrating stick here and this was just a cheap one from Primark, I think it was 99p. 
So it's quite a bright pink and I used to wear it on holiday in the summer, but sometimes it's a little bit bright. So I normally put that one on. I suppose now I'm getting, well, not getting um, older, I ought to really start wearing a lip liner, didn't I? Because I think the lips do tend to bleed, don't they? And then what I normally do is go in with this high shine lip gloss. I don't know where this is from. I was thinking next, but yeah, it's next. Yeah, it's next. This one here, again, I've had this one for a long time. I'll put as much as I can in the description box for you in case you're interested. So that's the pink. So let's turn you around. Can you see? That's the pink. And then what I do is I put this lip gloss on the top and just rub it together. Let's move you back. see you in the shadow there let's try and get you in a better light ah, and that's my makeup done so I'm off to try my hair now so I'll do a time lapse and let you see me dry my hair I always make myself a quick cup of coffee so when I come out the shower and do my makeup I normally drink my coffee before I dry my hair I picked up these beautiful mugs so you can see all lipstick on it now I don't know if you can see it says let it snow inside I picked up these mugs in Hang Bargains the other day uh, I picked up three of them I thought they were quite nice I'd like to pick up more but um, I just haven't got the storage for them and I thought they're not too Christmassy are they so I suppose if necessary you could use them all winter round but I'll probably just use them for Christmas but I think they were two pounds something but I went in the weekend, but there's no more left, but I thought they were lovely. Mm. I do enjoy my first cup of coffee in the morning. Right, so I'm going to pop you on a time lapse and show you how I dry my hair. So I'm not styling it, I'm just rough drying it for work today, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my hair all done. It's 75% uh, dry now. I just leave it to finish off. Just give it a brush. I must get my roots done again. I'm so dark still. I've got quite a bit of grey, but I've still got a lot of dark hair. And I wish it would disappear. I'd rather be grey all over. I wouldn't have to have my hair done. Highlighted so much, so I could just put a tint on it, couldn't I? So, last now, I'm just going to put on my perfume. So, this is Miss Dior. It's one of my favourite perfumes, I must admit. This I got this at the airport when we went to Grace. It's just a little roll on. Don't need much of it, but it's not a strong smell. It's just a nice, got out of the shower, fresh smell. I describe it as absolutely love it. And I say, I've had that since our holiday in August was it all yeah August as I say there's quite a bit left and I use it every day and Becky pinches it when she comes over as well I know she does <laughs> okay so that's it I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee now and uh, open the curtains and then go and get some breakfast oh. so I'll show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning So dark and miserable, isn't it? It's very dark and dreary out there. Right, let's put my cardigan on. And I'll take you in the kitchen. 
and show you what I'm going to have for breakfast this morning. Off we go. Breakfast this morning, I'm going to have my porridge oats. So I just put this in a bowl with some milk and pop it in the microwave for two minutes. Let's put that in. Porridge is one of my favourite breakfasts. I must admit. I'll just put that in for two minutes. And then that's going to be ready. So I'll put the camera in the dining room now and I'll show you me eating my breakfast. Yeah, so this is my breakfast. I've just topped it with some sweet now and some blueberries. Finishing my cup of coffee. So I'll turn you off now. You don't want to sit and watch me eating my breakfast. And I'll catch you in a minute. So I'll just sort of show you what I'm taking for lunch. I made these yesterday, so I've got two tuna and red onion sandwiches with a little bit of mayonnaise and I've got a mint skinny whip bar they were from Aldi and an orange and banana so that's what I'm taking for lunch today um for this evening's meal we have got some stew left in the slow cooker from yesterday uh, so that's what we're going to have for lunch this evening I just thought I'd share some of my journey to work. I haven't got the camera in a very good position, but I've got to be careful. The holder's not very good. But it's so dark and dreary, isn't it? I'm about five minutes away now. So I've had to turn the radio off. I had all the Christmas tunes on the radio. Otherwise I get copyright, so I can't put them up. So, yeah, I just hope um, there won't Leona Lewis as it sleeps before Christmas. Forgot about that one, that was a really nice tune. I do like Leona Lewis. Haven't heard anything from her for a long time, have we? Well, I haven't anyway. But yeah, a bit busy with traffic at the moment. Looks like it might brighten up later. It's a full day today, so I'm, well, my official hours today are quarter to nine to five, but I'm going to get there probably about half eight. I like to get there a bit early to have a cuppa and get all sorted out before I have to start my day. Sorry, the camera's walking everywhere. And then we just got to go around this little mini roundabout. And then we go up the high street and up a hill. I feel so tired lately, and I've heard a lot of other YouTubers saying it. I think it's just a time of year, isn't it? These dark mornings, no matter how early I go to bed, I just don't want to get out of bed in the morning. I just want to stay there, but on the weekend, I'm awake really early. And I still have this habit at the moment as well, waking up at stupid o'clock, like two o'clock in the morning, and I'm awake like two to five. That's so annoying. I think once you get into a habit, don't you? You can't break the habit. Then you fall back to sleep just before it's time to get up and you feel exhausted. Um, there's a nice big Christmas tree over on the right. It's a shame I can't turn the camera around. I'm just going through a little finish now. I'm in a little, I work in a little remote village, um, just outside this village and our office is on the farmland and it's such a nice environment to work in they've got horses there a lot of horses they do dressage and that so very often you see them out on the horses going for walks and normally down the lane yesterday there was um two pheasants <laughs> in the lane and they would not move i had to sit and wait for them to move they were just playing in the road but it is lovely to see, I must admit. Yeah, so we just go up this big hill now. We can get through the traffic lights. Little queue of people turning off. Hopefully they let us through, we'll get up the hill. 
and I can get in and make my morning cup of coffee. So that'll be my second cup of coffee this morning. Come on, move up. So that's the thing now, the lights have changed and yet I can't go, but now I won't go inside because I'm through the lights my side. Okay, so this is the hill. We're going up the big hill. A bit bumpy, I'm afraid. Oh, rain is terrible, aren't they? Everywhere you go, the potholes. Oh, I've never known our rains be this bad. Oh, so when these parts on the bend here, so because of the hill, you have to slow down to go around there. Use your power. Oh, I didn't mention. Don't move it because it'll fall off and end up under my feet. Yeah, so we're going to go down this lane here, pedal here, go through there. It does get quite flooded down the, the bottom where we work as well. We have a lot of rain, we get all the water off the hills. in the mood today for work. I think it's that time of year where you've got so much to do, haven't you? I've still got Christmas presents to get. So I need to get, I need to go to the toy shop. There's a couple of things I need to go to Smith's toy shop for. Um, a couple of things I need to order online, so perhaps I could do that on my lunch break. And then it's all organising the food, isn't it? Because they're all coming to me for Christmas. I have got an Asda delivery slot booked. I need to work out my list of what I need to order. <coughs> I've still got this bit of a cough. Um, a lot of my customers I've been talking to have been telling me that um, there's this 100 day cough going here still around. People are having it for 100 days. This is a pretty little village here. We're going through, this is lovely. This is the one I videoed last year when it was snowing. I don't know if you can see there's a big anchor outside that one. I don't think the camera's low enough for me to see. It's a shame. But yeah, it's a lovely little village. This is where I met the two pheasants yesterday playing in the road. 
in the summer there was lots of rabbits and baby rabbits playing in the road but we were saying we haven't seen any rabbits for ages there's a pigeon yeah, no i think we've got a clear journey today let's just get in here and then i'm ready to start my day So I'll get parked up. In this field in front, in the summer, there's normally a couple of lovely horses out here. Do you understand? Yeah, so that's my office there where I work, just inside there. And then this field outside, there's normally a couple of lovely horses in there, but they're obviously put away in the dry. Uh, we've just recently got one of these defibrillators outside, so that's quite handy, isn't it? I'm just waiting for my colleagues to arrive. I think I'm the first to arrive. We've got a couple on holiday. Everybody's using up their holidays, aren't they? Yeah, so I have got a key to go in, but I have to set the alarm and what have you. So uh, I think because I'm a little bit early, I'll wait for someone else to arrive. They can come in with me, open up. And then I'll put the kettle on, have a cuppa and get ready to start my day. So I hope you enjoyed me on my journey to work. And this gives you an insight, isn't it, of a day in the life of me. You know, what I get up to, what I do. So I'll catch you a bit later. So a little tree in reception. Uh, this is the office. So I'm the first one here. We've got another tree in here. And my desk is over here. Yeah, so I'm just going to set up, ready to start my day. All set up, they're ready to go. They go and make me cuppa. So I'm home now. I'm just going to tuck into my dinner. Well, I've just had my dinner. I've just made myself a cup of tea. And I'm going to sit and find something to watch on TV. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, um, let me know. And I will link the descriptions of the makeup items I've used, just in case it's of interest to any of you. And I'll see you all very soon. Thank you again for watching. Bye, everyone.